Um, here's my point on this, and I'm going to take it around the table. I think photojournalists don't get enough credit for being journalists. They actually are some of the best historians and political analysts that you'll ever find. And President Obama never takes a bad picture. All they're asking for is an opportunity to take pictures like they've done in the past, regardless of the Internet. Bob, why don't they just let, let them in take I, pictures I, of I official no events? Idea. I mean, I think the picture of, we talked about this before, I think the picture of the Obama and Bush together would have been a good picture for Obama, frankly. But uh, I don't understand. Did you ever get yelled at like that? Oh, I'm sure I did. You did? I'm sure uh, I handled it just so well. That seemed to be so pretty well, out of control at one point. I thought that, actually, I thought that was fairly tame. It was? In, in, yeah. In, well, who in, would want that job? Oh, we only have a couple of minutes. Andrea, what do you think? Reporter, is this a big, uh, are they making a mountain out of a mohill, or do they have a point? I don't point? think so. This has been a theme, right? So a couple months ago, uh, led by Ed Henry, the press corps was pretty angry that the only thing they got from the president was a picture of him golfing mm -hmm. uh, when he went south oh, to golf right. with, I believe, Tiger Woods. This is my problem, though, Dan. The White House, it says, we're going to be transparent, we're going to give you lots of access, won't even let them um, take a mm -hmm. picture. But, look, I'm not surprised that they're cutting back the access, uh, the access for the reporters. Things are not going very well. It just makes them look like complete control freaks and absolutely ridiculous. Although the media, it's a little late for them to complain about access. Where were they complaining when they invoked executive order or executive privilege on Fast and Furious and all these other scandals? So to hear them complain now, I mean, I guess better late than never, but... I think that's a fairly good point. Do you, do you two have anything on this, or do you want to go to the lie of the year? Yeah, I have something to say. All right. She whiz. No, boo-hoo. <laughs> boo-hoo. This is not a conflict. Yeah. This is a lover's quarrel. These guys have kept their powder dry until this guy was elected, and now they're whining. I have no sympathy for, for them whatsoever. From 2007 to 2012, they were roofied by the White House. Now they're waking up all groggy, and they're going, what the hell just happened? Why is this guy so mean to me? I don't care. It's like grounding your kid after he already moved out. What's the point? So, uh, yeah, I had something to say. I do. Th I think there is something to be said that they've, they've ceded so much ground that yeah. now when they're fighting, they're... They're yeah. complaining. Uh, very quickly, uh, Pete is a, a great White House uh, photographer. But the problem is when you control that, it's, just, it's not journalism. And he anymore. used to be a, not, photo, a photo dog like if, the rest if, of them. If you don't let the independent photographers in there and, and, and photograph what's going on, you don't know what's going on. You, you're only getting what the White House wants you to know, and that's not journalism. It's a strange thing, I think, for them to complain about. Or to, or it's, I think it's strange battle for the White House to want to fight right now. I mean, mm -hmm. the president takes great pictures. Just let him in to take the pictures. Mm -hmm. um, the other.